Guess what, you guys? We're going on a family holiday to Egypt next week. I'm so excited. Whoa! You're so lucky. When do you leave? Saturday. I thought so. What a coincidence. I'm gonna be your pilot. Isn't it funny when things like that happen? Hmm. Hey, how about you three come along as well? There's huh? nothing like the huh? wonders of Egypt. Huh? Yes, yes, please! please. Sure yeah. Yeah. So guys, here's the plan. You can explore on your own for as long as you want. Then we're gonna meet later, when it's dark, for the laser show. <laughs> Most ancient Egyptian pyramids were built as tombs for pharaohs and for their families as well. This pyramid huh? was built with about 2.3 million stone blocks, and it is thought to weigh 5.9 million tons. Wow! Huh. Wow, it's huge! The only thing bigger than the uh -huh. pyramids are the lines to get in. Huh? That one hasn't got a line outside of it. Huh? Mm -hmm. I say we go. Huh? Huh? Hey, oh. Oh. whoa! Whoa! Get in! Whoa! Oh. Oh. It's very nice and way cool in here. Strange, you know. There's no one else here. Funny, there's nothing in my book about this pyramid. Well, then what does the book say? It says Egyptian pyramids often contain multiple chambers and passages. I say we go and explore them. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Huh? Look there! Look at all those hieroglyphics on the wall! How do we get over there? No, 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 no! What do we do now? What do we do? It won't open! How will we get out of here? We're trapped! It won't open! There must be a lever or a button somewhere to lower that bridge! Oh. Huh? I think this is a puzzle. Right. We answered the riddles correctly, and we get out of here with our lives intact. What if we don't answer correctly? Um, um, well, let's make sure we do answer correctly. What's this one here? What is this donkey plus these mountains? Shawarma! What? I found a shawarma in my bag! Obeyed! Mm. Mm. A donkey plus two mountain peaks could be a camel. Hey! I think you're right about that! Yeah! Mm. Huh? Hmm. Uh. Um. Let's get that door open already. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A cat and a wolf. Um, I know. That's an uh -huh. owl. Obeyed! Wait, uh -huh. stop! Can a cat yes! and a wolf be an owl bait? It was obviously a lion. How can you confuse the two of them? I got confused. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Everyone calm down, all right? No one presses a button until we're all sure about it. Okay, guys? Yeah. Hmm, that could be some kind of a lizard. Or a crocodile. True, but which one, Shama? Could this be any harder? I think it's a crocodile. Yeah, me too. We have to be so careful about this. Uh, 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 not again! Uh, uh, uh. I think 
a bird and a lion is a hawk. I do too. So do I. Yep. Oh my goodness. Wow! <laughs> oh! No! This is not good! Hey, guys! Uh, uh, the mummies! The mummies are gone! What are you uh, talking about, Obeyed? The mummies aren't back where they were anymore! Mm. I'm not lying! It's just your mind playing tricks on you, Obeyed. for now. Uh, okay, guys. I think we should turn around. Uh, huh? Ah! <sighs> that was scary. We gotta get out of here yeah. quick. I agree. <sighs> Maybe this symbol means exit. Um, okay, actually, it means treasure. with expensive items such as jewelry. Now isn't the time for a history lesson. There huh? are mummies uh, on the loose. Mm. Huh? Mummies? And scary dog-faced walking statues. Huh? Mm. Uh, what are those? <gasps> Run, you guys! <laughs> on our side of the ride. I didn't think any customers would be here yet. Huh? <gasps> What's going on here? This theme park doesn't open until next week. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Did you think all this was real? It'd be awesome if you did. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> well then, now that you know it's a theme park, would you like another go? What do you say, everyone? Yeah! Yay! <laughs> sure, that would be swell. I'm ready to film you, Grandpa. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Salem! Huh? Obey! Ready? Yeah, ready! Okay, science project homework. Scene one, take one. Action! Let's investigate the different properties of solids, liquids, and gases. Terrific idea. Take a look at all these liquids here. They can either flow or pour like this. But they're not that easy to hold, though. No, sir. It's quite impossible. Solids keep their shape. They do not flow like liquids. They serve their own purpose. That's right. And look over there. If you were to heat up a liquid, it could turn into a gas. Hmm. And cooling a liquid can turn it into a solid. Isn't science just so fascinating? Elementary, my dear Obeyed. Cut. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. Our science project is complete. <laughs> huh? What's that? It's called acting. No, not that. I mean that. What's she up to? I have no idea. But she's trying not to be seen. Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's a riddle that must be solved. Elementary, my dear Mansoor. The case of the mysterious cousin. <laughs> huh? Oh, huh? there's our culprit now. Look. We must follow her at once. There. See any clues? Not a single one. Let's look over here. Oh, hello, guys. Uh, uh, Shama, uh, uh, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> yeah, um, listen, I've got to go. See you later. Mmm, the plot thickens like clam chowder soup. The case of the mysterious cousin becomes more mysterious. Come on, let's see where she's going. Uh, I think she saw us. Quickly, in here, in here. She'll never recognize us now. Let's go. What's in that package? That's a picture frame for sure. I wonder who she's talking to. Maybe her partner is a criminal mastermind. Yeah, that is the only logical explanation. Oh, ah, here they come right now. It's your uncle and auntie. Are they criminal masterminds we're dealing with? I didn't think they were, but we gotta find out for certain. <gasps> Whoa!
What do you think is in that box? I bet it's a big pile of money or jewelry. Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, huh? Uh, our bed. Quick, they're getting away. What does the evidence tell us, my dear Obeyed? Well, I'll tell you. The culprit is parked near the exit. For a quick and easy getaway, they're more cunning than we expected. A fine deduction. But what do you suppose Shama's doing there? Probably finding the most expensive, most rare piece of art to run off with. So let's go and catch her red-handed like the criminal she is. Huh? Where has she gone? Right there. Oh. She got away. She is a most devious foe. Don't you worry. We will find her. Come on, detective friends. Let's go this way. Huh? What's going on? It's probably just a fire alarm test. Or perhaps there's a robbery going on. No way. She couldn't possibly have done this. Of course not. We're just having a bit of fun. We don't really think that Shama stole a painting, do we? Huh? Mm, hey guys, you need to look at this. Nano, can you identify this picture, please? It is the morning sunrise, a very valuable painting, currently being displayed in the City Art Museum. Currently being stolen from the City Art Museum. Thanks so much, Nano. Listen, I don't believe Shama really took the painting, so let's do some real detective work. If the picture is still here, we know Shama didn't take it. That makes sense. Let's go. According to this, the morning sunrise painting should be right over there. What on earth? Oh, she actually took it. I can't believe it. There's no way. This just got really serious, you guys. <gasps> no! Impossible. But look at the evidence. She acted suspiciously in your garden. She was acting so weird in the mall. And the alarms went off. And Shama totally left with the painting. Yeah, and now it's not here. No, there must be a logical explanation for this. There is! Your cousin and her family are art thieves. We gotta tell the police. No, I need to speak to her first. Hello? Hey there, Shama. How are you? I'm good, and you? Uh, good, thanks for asking. Did you do the homework? Of course. It was good seeing you at the mall. Oh, I didn't see oh, you. Oh, that's okay. I understand that you were in a rush. Yeah. What else have you been up to? Just got home after You shopping. just went home? Bye. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you at my house later for dinner, yeah. See you soon. Okay, then. Bye for now. All right, bye. I don't believe it. Shama actually stole it. A priceless masterpiece from the museum. And to think she's going to put that beautiful painting in the cheap gold frame from a stinky old mall. Wait, she's coming to your house for dinner later. Yeah. What are you going to do? I guess I'll have to confront them. And I need you two there. Take a seat, fellas. Mansoor, I'll be away on holiday next week, so I won't be around for your birthday. But I still wanted to get you a present. Um, thank you. I've shown it to everyone, and they think it's great. Your entire family is in on this. It wasn't easy to get, though. I couldn't find it in the mall, so instead I had to go somewhere else. <laughs> so happy birthday, Mansoor! You may not want to show this. You might want to keep it private. Mm hmm Thank you, Shama. Thank you. Mm. <gasps> huh? 
<laughs> what? The three of you are the worst detectives ever, you know that? <laughs> uh, I don't understand, Shama. Let me explain this to you. Okay, so I went to the mall so I could get you the frame that you're holding. And then I went to the art museum to get you this print of a beautiful morning sunrise. Mm. But I saw you three running around in those silly beards. I didn't think you had seen us. How could I miss you guys? I mean, really. But then how do you explain this morning in the garden? You were filming something, and I didn't want to ruin your shot. What about the alarms? And the missing painting! The painting was removed to be cleaned, but they accidentally set the alarms off. Nothing nefarious going on there. It was on the front page of the newspaper, you know. I'm sorry, Shama. You really thought the evidence was overwhelming. <laughs> the evidence is overwhelming that you three are crazy. What about the box full of money and jewelry? Someone explain that to me. Huh? Oh! <gasps> <laughs> You jumped to the wrong conclusions. What do you got to say about that? Uh, who would like some cake? It's entered Earth's orbit. Ooh, there it is. It's on target to land as predicted. Oh, <gasps> what's happening? It's not responding. Follow it. Where's it going? I don't have a clue. We don't have anything for show and tell today. Mansoor, are you sure you don't have anything to show in class today? Hmm, well, I'm working on that. Hey! Look, guys! Squashed by a meteor obeyed. But I did get some great video footage. Uh, let's take a look. Come on. Uh, it's not a meteor. It's actually a UFO. <laughs> 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 Thinks about it. Greetings there, Mansoul. Nano, 
Can you find out who our new friend is, please? Over there? Sure thing, Mansoor. <laughs> Looks like they're having some kind of robo-chat. He says that he's a deep space rover and that the space authority are on their way to collect him soon. Well then, why doesn't he just stay in one place? Can you ask him to stop digging and wait for the space authority? He says that he cannot stop because it is what he is programmed to do. <laughs> yeah. Nano, can you override his system? Overriding system initiated. Override complete. There we go. As long as Nano's attached, he can stop all that digging. Oh, we are late for school. <laughs> yeah, but now we have the best thing for show and tell. Mm -hmm. mm. Next up for show and tell is, uh, Tarek. <laughs> I have brought this today with me to show everyone. No one can have a go. It's all mine. Ooh. Ooh. Great, thank you, Tarek. Next up is... Mansoor. <laughs> I bet you won't have anything better than this to show the class, Mansoor. Actually, we have something out of this world to show the class. Literally. Really now? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> Nano, it's time to bring him in. Uh, huh? Whoa! in the park today. That's right, and it came from outer space. <laughs> wow, I don't believe it. It was collecting samples from deep space. Can we see some samples? <laughs> he says that the rock is from a moon that is located 1,000 light years away from Earth. <laughs> he says, don't touch that. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, no. unless they are given an antidote very soon. But what's the antidote? He said he has all the necessary ingredients in his pod that crashed in the park. We'll need to retrieve them. All right, then what are we waiting for? Let's hurry, guys. Just make an extra antidote. Warning, warning, low battery power. Stop! Nano needs to override his system. <laughs> but Nano's got no battery. What are we going to do? Give me your cell phones and phone cables, too. If I can manage to reroute the power from the cell phones to Nano... Got it! All right, you did it, man! 
Man Sword? We've got to get back to school now. He says, let's make an antidote. End of class already. I'll see you all tomorrow. Great, robot. We did it. Don't forget all the people in the playground. Oh, we have three minutes. Quickly! Hurry, Mansoor. Looking after him. No problem. It was our pleasure. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble for you. Uh, no, <laughs> no trouble. He says that he's had more fun with you three today than he ever had out in deep space. <laughs> he would like you to have this. Really? Well, he did take plenty of samples, so you kids can have them. Thank, Thank you. you! Come on, <laughs> let's go. Goodbye! Everyone ready to go camping? Yeah! yeah. Mm. Well, let's go then. <laughs> I love spending spring break in the desert. I do too. Camping under the stars is great. Raising dune buggies is really fun. And eating uh, food cooked on an open fire. <laughs> <laughs> this trip is going to be so amazing. But will there be any Wi-Fi uh, there? Sell them. If I drive a little bit faster, we'll be there in time for lunch.
Is it time to drive them yet? We'll have lunch first. Hey, how are you liking this so far? Uh, I can't get any signal. Of course you can't. You're in the middle of the desert. Entertain yourself the old-fashioned way. What is the old-fashioned way? Telling stories. Why don't you tell us one? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. One day, I was walking down the street and I saw a cat. That's your story? That's all you can tell us about it? One day I saw a cat? All right, why don't you tell one then? Okay, I will. Once upon a time, a long time ago. Well, actually, it was just last month. <laughs> I bought some ice cream, but I forgot to put it in the freezer. An hour later, I remembered. I rushed back home to get to it. But to my surprise, I discovered that the ice cream had completely melted. And so, I thought to myself, what am I going to do now? Uh-huh. Then I had a great idea. I'll drink it with a straw. So I ended up having a delicious ice cream milkshake instead. It was so good. That's the end. <laughs> well done, Obeyed. That's a very nice story. How about you tell us one of your stories, Grandpa? I will tell you a scary story. When I was a little boy, my mother used to warn me not to go and play outside in the afternoon because Humarat al-Gaila hunts for children at that time. Humarat al-Gaila has a human face, but the legs of a donkey. One day, I did go play in the afternoon, and I saw Humarat al-Gaila. I was terrified. She approached me and said, Lunch is ready. <laughs> Grandpa. What did Humarat Al-Gaila say? <laughs> I'll finish the story this evening. Let's go eat. Come on. I really can't wait to hear the rest of the story. Ugh, I don't like the sound of this Humarat Al-Gaila. Guys, are you ready for some fun? Oh yeah, we're ready. Let's go. Can we come too? No boys only. <laughs> hey! Hmm. <laughs> Be careful and watch out for Humarat Al Gaila. Humarat Al Gaila, I've got an idea. <laughs> How's this look? Perfect. <laughs> Let's go after them. <laughs> Cool, that was an awesome ride, you guys. Hey guys, who wants to come fly my new kite? I do. I do too. I'll just stay here and look after the buggies. Mansoor, wait for me. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ah, yeah, this is the life. Salam's right there, okay. Are you ready? Ready. Now let's go and teach Solom a lesson. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Watch out for Humarat al Gaila. She comes for children in the afternoon. Solom. Will you please help me, my friend? Thank you. Oh. You're a lifesaver. Uh, 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 what happened? Uh, 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 it's just me, Shama. Uh, uh, Huh? What happened? Well, we were really upset. You didn't let us go buggy riding with all of you guys just because we're girls. It wasn't fair. So, 
We decided to dress up as Humarat al Gaila and teach you a lesson. But our trick worked a bit too well. We're very sorry. Huh? Huh? <sighs> Thank goodness! I've been saved! I'm sorry I said you couldn't join us. That's okay, Salem. I'm also glad it wasn't really Humarat al There's nothing to worry about. Mm. Humarat al is not real. Whoa! Whoa! Stop! Huh? Huh? Uh, Humarat al -Gaila. Oh, please tell me this is just another joke. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, she is oh. real. Uh, what are we going to do? We have to get out of here. That's a great idea. Run away! Uh, 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 Grandpa! Uh, Grandpa! Uh, we saw Humarat al -Gaila. What? Uh -huh. Humarat al out there! You mean you saw Shama and Kalud pretending to be Humarat al Well, Solim saw the Humarat al and he fainted. But then we saw the real Humarat al You know, I think your scary story was a little bit too scary for the kids. <laughs> Calm down, children. Humarat al is just an old folk tale. I didn't mean to scare you this much. We enjoyed the story, Grandpa. But what we saw was real. But, Mansoor, there's no such thing. I don't believe it. Humarat oh. al I told you she was real. Please help me. Hmm? Grandpa, no! Water. Bring me water. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, rest by the fire. I just brewed some coffee. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Grandpa, do you think you can please finish telling us the story about how you met the Humorat al in the desert? No, no, please don't know. I've already met her twice today. Well, okay then. Why don't you tell us another riveting story about meeting a cat? <laughs> <laughs> We know you absolutely love pizza. Oh. And we know you like burgers. Oh. Mm, huh? Yum! But what could possibly be better than pizza and burgers? Why, pizza burgers, of course. Mm. Two juicy burgers with cheese, surrounded by double pepperoni pizza buns with extra cheese all topped with our special tiger cheese stripes. Mm. Just one bite, and you'll never want to eat anything else in your life again, ever. Uh, I suddenly feel a little... Me too. Not sure how to explain it. What's the word? Starving. Uh, tiger burger? Thought you'd never ask. I'll race you there. Huh? Wait a minute. We just had lunch. Hmm, weird. Yeah, it's inexplicable. Come on, then. But guys. Hmm. We have an anomaly. Hmm? 
I don't think it's very healthy. We shouldn't be eating it. Huh? This place feels empty. Uh... Huh? Something isn't right. Where is everyone? Mansoor! Everything will be fine when we get to Tiger Burger. Mm. Huh? <gasps> Tiger Burger! Uh, hey guys! There must be a way across to get there. <laughs> Are those security guards actually running toward us? There he is! Hey guys! I really think they're coming for us! What if we uh, walk around? Mansoor! We need to get out of here! Now! <gasps> Mansoor! Huh. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'm actually a hypnotist. Leave them to me. These boys are not the ones for whom you are seeking. <laughs> These boys are not the ones for whom you are seeking. Are you sure? They look a lot like them. The tall one, the skinny one, the short one. Uh, um... These boys are not the ones for whom you've been seeking. Yeah, they're the ones. Look, I've got a photo on my phone. Here. Yep. That's them, all right. No, uh, mm -mm, mm, uh... Look into my eyes and listen. These boys are not the ones for whom you've been seeking. Huh? Why does he keep saying that? Huh? Um, excuse oh. me? But what are you trying to do? Uh, don't worry. Uh, <clears throat> listen here. Look into my eyes. You're a chicken. You're a baby. You're a puppy. Bark! Bark! Uh, let's get out of here! Uh, oh. Quick! This way! Okay, someone needs to start explaining what is happening fast! Uh, fast? <gasps> You were hypnotized by the Tiger Burger ad you watched. Tiger Burger is actually an evil fast food chain that gets people to buy their unhealthy products by hypnotizing them through using display ads in malls all around the world. I'm Ahmed, by the way, and as part of a secret group of health-conscious hypnotists who are sworn to fight the big chain and free people from the evil hypnotists all over the world, like Tiger Burger. So what you're saying is you're a hypnotist? Exactly. Uh... Sorry, but I get the feeling that you're new to this whole hypnosis thing. I am. These glasses were sent by HQ last week to help me. They're part of a new trial technology to help fight the evil hypnotists, but they just don't seem to be working really well right now. Huh. Uh, I don't know what it is. It could be any number of things. The ramp. The operating system, a software bug, or the new update I just downloaded, or it could be as something. When did you last charge them? Uh. Seriously? I knew it. The first chance I get to do some real damage to the Tiger Burger Empire, and I failed. And now I'll never be able to help all those poor people. Wait a minute. There's just enough battery in these for one last burst of usage. Uh, how much good is that gonna do with all those people out there? Look, in essence, these glasses here project images onto your retina, right? Uh, right. I know that look too well. He's going to do something. Oh, oh no! And so, your brain deciphers the images shown and understands the code embedded within the light signals, right? Uh, right. So we don't really need the glasses at all. Uh, 
No, no, you're right. All we really need is a means to project those same images onto your retina. But, but how do we implement this plan? Plan? What plan? I didn't hear about any plan. Did you? Why are you talking about science? It always gets me a bit confused. Well, first we will need a distraction. See what I was talking about? I sure hope he knows what he's doing. All I need to do is reprogram the format that it will play out, and it should be fun. If I could have your attention, please, gentlemen. I don't think oh! so. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look into my eyes, oh. gentlemen. Look into my eyes. Oh, oh, I, uh... Thanks for all your help, boys. I couldn't have done it without you. What will you do now? There are still many malls out there and many more Tiger Burgers to defeat. I figure I'll just go from mall to mall, taking them on one at a time, helping out the good people and keeping them healthy. Until we meet again, take care of yourselves and each other. Ha-ha! Goodbye! Goodbye! How's it going, boys? We're nearly there. Right now, we're passing a tiny little island near Bermuda. Uh, the Bermuda Triangle? Hope we don't disappear. Ah! Oh, what was that? Just a thunderstorm. But I better get back to the controls. Buckle up, boys, all right? Uh. 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 Look. 
Look at the lightning! It's pink! It's the Bermuda Triangle! It has to be! <laughs> you watch too many movies, Obaid. It was only a storm! But, Dad, I can't get any service on my phone at all! Why don't you boys try up there? There may be a signal. Try that, and I'll look at the engine. But listen, don't go too far. Okay, Dad. See you later! Come on, guys! Yeah, <laughs> let's! <laughs> Come on. Mm. Guys, guys! Huh? Over here! Look there! Uh. They look like pirates! <laughs> no way! You guys, don't be silly! It's a movie shoot! Let's go check it out! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Our quest is almost at an end, my friend. <laughs> and cut! Huh? 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 Hold uh -huh. on. They're only boys. Who are you? Um, I'm Mansoor. And these are my friends, Obaid and Salem. Are you shooting a movie? Movie? What is this movie? You know, a movie. Like this. Hmm? Look there. I'm making some action. Oh. What is this? You're the right. boy has trapped yeah, little people inside of this little box thingy. What's with these guys? Hey, Jabal, secure the boat. My name is Sinbad. Sinbad? You mean just like Sinbad the sailor? Sailor, adventurer, hero at your service. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's going on? I'm so confused right now. That guy's crazy. Maybe not. Think about it. The storm, my phone acting all weird and stuff, and these guys over here don't even know what a movie is. You mean the Bermuda Triangle? I think you were actually right about everything, Obaid. That storm was a time portal. <clears throat> Forgive me, but time is not my friend. You see, we have sailed the seven seas far and wide to reach this far-off place. My princess fails even as we speak. Princess? Princess Alia. Alia of Baghdad. She has been poisoned by the evil Sultan Kader. And Kader wishes to claim her throne, and I must save her now. The only thing that can save the princess from her fate is the Star of Nashira, a tiny flower that grows only here on this island. A flower? That sounds easy enough. I wish that were true, my young fellow. But the flower grows at the top of a giant tree in the Valley of Scorpions. Scorpions? Well, at least it isn't snakes. Snakes, too. Many snakes to be, in fact. But now we must go. Uh, ready, Jabal? Wait up, Sinbad. Maybe we can help. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> I believe these tunnels right here will lead us to the giant tree. Uh, I don't really like this. It looks dangerous. Oh, it is. So touch nothing. The men who built this place Filled it with many traps to prevent anyone from entering. <laughs> Follow me, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Stop! Is something wrong? Yes, I think I see something. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> I knew it, just as I thought. The traps that were put in place are still working. What do we do now? We make shield, huh? Haha! <laughs> Salem! You look like a real warrior with that shield you made. Jabal, go and make some more for the rest of us. Salem, look, it's working. Hmm, a piece of cake. Is that the best they can do? Wait up! <laughs> We're here. Behold, the Star of Nashira. Oh. Hold on. Do you really think this will hold no, us? No, don't do oh. it. Oh. So. All to, is lost. Oh, to have come so far and to then fail. The fate of my princess is sealed now. Hmm. Not so fast. I've got an idea. Huh? What is that thing? Meet my friend Nano. He's going to save the princess. Oh, wow. Oh. Greetings there, Mentor. Hey, Nano. Got a little job for you. That is absolutely incredible! That's Nano! <sighs> I owe you a great debt, Mansoor. And all of you, you will be heroes. And many stories will be told of you, I promise. Mansoor, look! The huh? storm! Oh. oh! The time portal! We have to leave now! Take this as a token of gratitude. <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye! Master! Huh? Uh -huh. Dad! <laughs> Good luck, Sinbad! We're about 20 minutes away from New York. Funny thing is, we're somehow eight hours behind schedule now. It's probably something about the Bermuda Triangle. I think you're right, Obaid. I think you're right.
Are you working with anyone on your project? Yeah, I'm gonna collaborate with Shama. Do you think I can join? Uh, my uncle and auntie are coming over for dinner, so Shama will be at my house. Come over too, we can start planning our project together. We'll have the best project. Huh? Well, if you think you're gonna win the science project, you have another thing coming, buddy. Hmm, why is that? Because I'm gonna win. This year is Tarek's year, hear me? Buzz off. Yeah? <laughs> well, let me introduce you to my science project partner, Muffy. Let's get going already, so we can start planning and working on my project. <laughs> What's your idea, Shama? Well, I've designed an energy efficient model Whoa, aeroplane. Oh, wow. That's just crazy. Oh. No, I mean, it's crazy because I designed almost the same thing. This is also an energy efficient airplane. Well then, let's combine all of our ideas to make the best science project. I totally agree. So what should he and I do? Um, can you design a logo that we can paint on the plane? And can you think of a name that we can use for the plane? Okay. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna be on the winning team this year. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that our plane is actually ready for its first test flight for once? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think it's really... Uh, you think it's really what? Yeah. Huh? Tell us all. Did I hear the words, test flight from you? Hmm. Interesting. Thanks for the info, dork. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, wow! That looks amazing! Very cool! Do the test flight yet? No, we're waiting for you. Okay, let's begin. Shama, start the rotors. Okay, now let's test this theory. <laughs> Whoa, way cool! Oh. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, ah. Is anything broken? Uh, no, no, I think I'm okay. I. Uh, oh, thank goodness. The plane is okay, everyone. Uh, I'm okay too, you know. Thank you very much for asking. Well, guys, that was a successful test flight, apart from one small steering problem. Yep, I agree with you. One small steering problem? You almost lost half our team. We'll make some modifications to the plane tomorrow. Then we can decorate it. Can you bring some paint? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'll bring a crash helmet. So tell me, have you thought of a name for the plane yet, Solomon? I'm gonna name it after an animal. Oh, what a good idea. Oh, I have a name. How about the bunny? What? No, I'm going to name it after a dangerous animal. The kitten? <gasps> a kitten isn't dangerous, Obaid. But they've got claws. No, I'm gonna call it the Tarek. Huh? Tarek? No, there's Tarek. And look at the plane he's flying! His plane looks exactly like us! Oh, but how? <laughs> They've got the same plane as us and the same steering problems. Come on, let's go show this video to the others. Oh, their plane is identical to the one we built. It's almost as if they've seen our plane. But that's impossible. Hmm. Ah, there's Tarek and Mafid. But where are Tarek's goons? They weren't anywhere around here. Well, we've got a video of their plane, so maybe they took video of ours. But how could they have done that? That's what we're about to find out. Nano, do me a favor and scan the surrounding area. Affirmative. Nano, I'm gonna need you to zoom in on them, please. Tarek's got them spying on our test flights. Then he gets Mafid to copy our designs from head to toe. We're almost ready for another test flight, Mansoor, but we can't make more progress with them watching us. What are we going to do now? I know what to do. We're going to pretend we don't know they're there and then give them a ridiculously designed plane <laughs> to copy. Uh-huh, what have you got in mind? 
Mm. Jelly. Oh, huh? Jelly? Jelly. Mm -hmm. Jelly. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Yeah, totally absurd. <laughs> <laughs> Showtime. Obeyed, solemn, you two ready? Okay! Let's fly this thing to the moon and back! Engage! I'd love to see the look on Tark's face when he sees the video. <laughs> That's their new plane? I don't believe it. Uh -huh. And it's really powered by jelly? Uh -huh. And they've clearly dealt with the power problem and faulty steering. What the? Well, you better sort it out, Mafine, because the science fair is tomorrow, understand? And I have to win this thing. Uh -huh. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> what an interesting looking plane. Huh? And by interesting, he means ridiculous. <laughs> That's right. This plane should be in my stomach and not flying in the air, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, I think you'll find it's quite similar to another plane around here. Do you mean our solar-powered hoopo? I doubt this is what you meant, Tarek. Ha ha ha! Come on! Let's get out of here! Uh, are you still having trouble with the steering and power? If you extend them, your problem will be solved. Uh, extend them? Obeyed! Let me get that food container! Yeah! Perfect. The teams are required to come up and present their projects. What have you got there? An energy-efficient model airplane powered by the sun. And you, what have you got? Well, it's an energy-efficient model airplane powered by, uh, well, uh, jelly. <laughs> by what? By jelly? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. You just said, okay. Well, then, let's start the test flights. Mentor, your team goes first. Yeah! Excellent. Well done. Now it's your turn, Jelly Powered Blade. All right. This better work or else. It will. Don't you worry. <laughs> Was that supposed to happen? No, it was not. Hey, I've been secretly working on that jelly spray, and I think it works rather well. I'll get you for this, Mafid. All right, this year's first play science fair winner is Mansoor and his team. Congrats. Thank you, sir. I could not have done this without my very clever cousin, Shama, and my good friend, Salem and Obeyed. We also have to thank Mafi. <laughs>
guys. Obeda has been reading ancient tales about magic carpets. So listen, how cool would it be if we created a magic carpet of our own for real, Mansoor? Stop messing around. Can't you see I'm busy? You do like aerospace engineering. Do you think you can make this fly? Oh. It would make a good science project. <sighs> a good science huh? project? You bring me a fairy tale and talk about science? Let me get back to my work. Now wake up! Clear the way, stranger! You fell asleep on the road! Huh? <gasps> Where are we? How on earth did we get here? Salem, what's going on here? Who's Salem? Huh? Um... Don't be so silly, Salem! Huh? Can I have some of that bread? Oh. That'll be three coins. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me look in my bag and see if I've got that. <laughs> uh, Hello there, Mentor. Uh, sorcerer. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Look, Salem, it's just Nano. But look, I don't have any coins. I've got no money. A sorcerer and a thief. Huh? Uh, huh? Make way, everyone, for the Great Sultan! Create a magic carpet for me. A magic carpet? Wait, but I don't know anything about magic carpets. But I just saw you fly that one all around my kingdom. You can have it if you like it so much. No. You shall come over to my palace, and you will work only with the finest of my Persian carpets. But I can't make a carpet fly. No one can. At least I don't think so. Yes, he can. <laughs> Who can? Him. I've seen his magic. Huh? Take him to the palace dungeon. Uh, huh? You know what? Take them all away. What? Huh? Listen to me carefully. You three must make me the best flying carpet in the land or else. Uh, uh, make that carpet fly or else. You have until this evening to make it work. Lock the door. Now fly like an eagle and soar like a pigeon. Wings of a... I implore you, rise. You'll never be able to make it fly like that, Obeyed. Who's Obeyed? Who are you talking to, strange one? I'm talking to you. Oh, never mind. It's nothing. 
Stop talking to that carpet. It's not gonna do you good. It's crazy. Well, at least he's trying unlike you. You haven't done a thing, magician. I'm not a magician. I'm an engineer and inventor. But you have magic in your bag there. What I have is Nano in my bag. He's not magic. He's just a robot. Let me show you guys, okay? <laughs> Hello, you two. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing to worry about. <laughs> Grandpa! No, I'm just the dungeon master. Oh. The thing is, I'm gonna need some things. I'm gonna make the carpet fly for the Sultan. I'll need your help. What do you need? That table, some string, some wire, uh, a hammer, some nails, uh, and a saw, please. Would you also like four of those big wing-like fans that keep the Sultan cool when it's hot? Hmm? That would be great. Thank you. All right, guys. Time to build a real flying carpet. We're gonna show that Sultan a magic carpet, and then we're all gonna escape on it! Oh. <sighs> hey! Huh? Hmm. <laughs> I was told that the three of you will perish, whether you succeed on your quest or not. <laughs> Do you think that you can get us out of here, Shama? Address me properly. I am the Princess Shama. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Your Highness. Allow me to correct my grave error. Can you help us, Princess Shama? That is exactly why I'm here, prisoner. Mansoor, time to wake up, Mansoor. Uh, it's okay, Mansoor, you had a bad uh, dream. 
It was the strangest thing. You wouldn't believe it if I told you, Grandpa. Well, Mansoor, you can tell me about it later because right outside, you've got two guests in the garden. Salem and Obeyed? We've got a magic carpet to make. The whole kingdom is at stake. be able to stop us, superhero! That's what you think, you villain! You, you, um, what was my line again? Cut! Someone get on my script! You know, they say this movie is actually based on a true story. <laughs> a true story where they were caught by a superhero? <laughs> oh yeah, really? Okay, well maybe not that part but the jailbreak part of it is a true story. And they happen to be filming it in the exact location that the escape took place in. It's true. The prisoners are supposed to have escaped from a prison just beyond those hills using the intricate tunnel system in the caves below. Look! He dropped the script. Huh? This is my one and only chance to meet my favorite superhero of all time. Come on! Yes? Huh? Hello, Mr. Ahmed Hamdan. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, uh, we just wanted to give you... <laughs> it's uh, no bother at all. Uh, I'm always happy to meet my fans. Huh? You know, I uh, was exactly uh, like you uh, once. Uh, I was all starry-eyed and full of hero worship. But that alone wasn't enough to turn me into the world's biggest action hero today. You know what I was? What? I was brave. That's how I attained oh. all of this fame. Because bravery can never be acted. If you're not brave in person, you can never portray it convincingly on screen. So, I now have a question for you, my young friend. How brave are you? Um, uh, I'm sorry about that, my young friend. I was just uh, shaken a little by the fall. Now, let's find a way out of this place as fast as we can. Okay, I'm not worried. After all, I'm with the world's bravest action superhero. Just lead the way. You're right. Follow me. <laughs> huh? Huh? Ah! huh? Ah! Ah! Help! Help me, ah! please! Ah! Please, please don't let me fall. Help me. I have a wife back home and a family. Help me. Um, uh, look, would you just help me up? Oh, of course. Yes, hold on. Hey, there's a ledge under you. But I'll never make it. Uh, but it's right beneath you? Uh, no, it's too far. Would you just help uh, me get up, please? All right, just swing up towards me. Uh, uh, hold on. 
Uh, oh, my friend, Mansoor. Uh, Hello, Mansoor. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, the truth is, I'm not sure I can take much more of this. Don't you worry. I just spoke to Mansoor. He's going to help guide us out of here. And besides, I don't think anything worse than this will happen to us. Right? Huh? Huh? Uh, 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 <laughs> the only thing you had to do was take care of the key. I planned out our escape from prison. I got the pickaxe and smuggled into prison. The only thing you were supposed to do is take care of the key. And yet you lost it! Uh, don't you know how to start a car without the key? I'm a criminal mastermind. I'm not a car thief. I don't know how to start cars without a key. Huh? Oh? Huh? 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 Uh. <sighs> Look! The car keys! Huh? Get it! Ah! <laughs> okay, now we really need to get out of here. You're the great action hero. You have any ideas? Yeah, we head for the exit. <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh. Huh? Okay, hmm? but which one should we take? Stop! Uh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Someone help us! <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Mansoor, help us! Oh, it sounds like there are some criminals that have broken out of jail exactly the same way as in the story. And the same way that Ahmed Hamdan is portraying in the movie. Exactly. That's right. So how did it end the first time? You're Ahmed Hamdan's assistant. How were the prisoners captured the first time they escaped? I think it was something to do with underground caves and a GPS. Um, it was something like that, wasn't it? Well, I could tell you. But then I'd ruin the ending of the movie. Are you sure you want to know what happens at the end? Yes! Oh, I just remembered something. I've signed a secrecy clause. I can't reveal the storyline. Obeyed. We're not getting any help out here. Go ask Ahmed Hamdan. I don't think I'm going to get any help from him either, Mansoor. I'm sending you the exit location as a pin to your phone now. Just work your way towards it and then we'll call the police, okay? Well, Mansoor, that may not be as easy as it sounds. Oh dear, no. I think I know exactly what's happening here. Look, I'm sorry, but there's something you have to know. What? Uh, well, the truth is, I'm not sure how to say it, but Ahmad isn't as brave as you think. You don't say! There's only one thing to be done whenever he gets like this. What's that? Give him his cape. Oh, uh, give him his cape? That's right. It's part of his costume. He changes whenever he has it on. That's great and all, but how am I going to get his cape down hey. here, huh? Someone order a superhero cape? Mm -hmm. Ah! Mm-hmm! <laughs> Yeah! This is the last time I break out of jail with you! Aw, oh, don't be like that. We'll find the car keys. All we need to do now is... Uh, uh, huh? uh, stop! What was that? What's what? Where? <gasps> Forget the keys. Let's get out of here. You're not going anywhere! <laughs> <laughs> He's everywhere! This way! Here we are! <laughs> We need to go back inside! Hurry! Hurry! <laughs> it's him or the police. No! No! Keep him away from us! We give up! We give up! 
Keep him away from us. We give up. That was extremely brave of you, Mr. Ahmed Hamdan. They were dangerous criminals. Lots of people would have been scared to confront them. Ha! <laughs> well, fear doesn't ever scare me, officer. Courage is my middle name. I certainly have what it takes, and I also, uh... I had a lot of help from these boys here. I couldn't have done it without them. Well, good job, boys. You'll get a special mention in my report. I can just see the headlines tomorrow. Prison breakers! Caught by the world's best superhero. What are the odds, huh? <laughs> 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 we get to Jeddah. I want to finally check out the Red Sea and find some really incredible giant sea turtles out there. Giant sea turtles? Yes, giant sea turtles. They're huge, you'll see. Sorry, but there's no such thing. Yes, yes there is. Look, it's here on the internet. The internet isn't always right, <laughs> especially not a site called monstersofthedeep.com. There. Voice recognition and mimic applications have now been installed. Um, in simple terms. Okay, Nano can now hear voice levels and patterns, learn them, and then mimic them. Oh! I still don't get it. Watch! Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on? Just wait for it. Mm -hmm. You're going to be impressed. Yarraba! Oh. Yarraba! Mm -hmm. Yarraba! Huh? Awesome! That sounded <clears throat> just like me! Faris Awad? Yeah, you're right. I'm impressed. How did you do it? Did that drone oh. just copy my voice? Yes, this is a smart drone. It can learn the way you speak and then have an entire conversation in your voice. Isn't that so cool? Where can I get one? Mm, well, you can't. I built this one. Oh, that's too bad. I could sure use the help of that drone. I haven't had a break in ages. Now I'm off to commentate on the Beach World Cup, so that drone could come in handy. Really? Yeah. I think we might be able to help you. We're heading there ourselves. You know, I think we have a good chance of winning this year. The home advantage will help a lot. You bet. We'll be huh? on our way to the game and be helping out the commentator there. A commentator? How will you do that? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, obeyed? Um. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today's match will be one to remember as Turkey takes the lead in starting the game. This certainly won't be an easy match for the home side, who are going to be taking on the Brazil team in a sport that the South Americans have come to dominate over the last couple of years. Excuse me. No problem. I wonder, could you tell us where we can find a boat to rent for the day? No. Mm. Of course. This is your lucky day. I have one right here, and it's going for a great price. How much? It is free if you take it right now and have it back before sundown. It's a special offer if you take it right now. Like right now, now, like now, now, now. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Ah, 
Ah, this is just what I needed. A relaxing day out on the water. <laughs> Where are they? Where are all the smuggled animals hidden? Animals? What animals? I'm afraid you've been misinformed, officers. <laughs> This is for the sea turtles. I read online it's their favorite food. See? It's too bad. I wonder where the giant sea turtles are hiding. We told you there's no such thing, Obeyed. Those are only stories. But, uh... It's like Mansoor told you. You can't believe everything you read on the internet. Can I try driving the boat? Do you know how to drive it? <laughs> I watched a tutorial. Ferris! The water's great. We should do some snorkeling. Are you sure you don't want to come with us, Obeyed? I'll just keep an eye on the boat. <laughs> hey, Obeyed, if I happen to miss it, say hello to the giant sea turtle for me. Calling all boats on the Jetta Coast. Huh? A famous animal smuggler was arrested earlier today in the docks, but the whereabouts of his boat remain unknown. The boat's registration number is 77. Approach with extreme caution. Oh, no. Huh? But why did he say to approach with extreme caution? Huh? Huh? Hey, stop it! Go away! Go! Go! Uh. 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 Oh, that's bad! Fire extinguisher! Fire extinguisher! Oh, right! There it is! Huh. Oh, well, how do I use it? Uh. There must be a manual around here somewhere. No, no! Uh. Nope! Uh... Oh, okay. Easy. Oh. No, couldn't be. Was that a leopard? Strawberry is my last hope for help. After this, the sea will take over. Obeyed! We've only been gone half an hour! What happened? The boat! It's sinking! It's been burned! Um... And there's an unfriendly leopard behind us! Suddenly, the day doesn't seem so relaxing anymore. Anyway... This is the only thing that is going to help us get back to land. You aren't seriously still waiting for the giant sea turtle, are you? Obeyed! Giant sea turtles don't even exist. They're just a myth. We need to figure out a realistic way to get ourselves out of here. Hey, guys, look there! Listen, even if giant sea turtles did exist, how useful would they be now? I mean, I'm not sure which is worse, drowning or being eaten by a leopard. Or missing out on the free ride, because we are never going to get this boat back on time. <laughs> Giant 
turtles were real. Just look. Congratulations are in order. Uh huh? You found the smuggler's boat. The smuggler? The smuggler. Yes. Uh -huh. And as you can see, mm -hmm. the leopard he was smuggling oh. is safe and sound. Well, guys, I did tell you that it was a long story. Oh, oh babe! Uh, catch him! <laughs> um, huh? Hey, guys, I just had the weirdest dream. So I was stranded on a boat and... <laughs> that wasn't a dream. Not even when it caught fire? Nah. And the leopard? Nope. What about Ferris Allwood? That can't have been real. I'm afraid so. It was awesome meeting all you boys. But your idea of a relaxing afternoon is a bit too much for me. I don't think I'll be able to take a day off again soon. Also, Nano had done so well commentating on the tournament that my phone hasn't stopped ringing since we got back. Yeah, Nano! <laughs> <laughs> Your homework for today is to film and report on interesting local events for the class vlog. And with that, you had better get to work. Okay, kids, see you tomorrow. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> we could do a report on Obeyed, <laughs> the most clumsiest boy in all of the world. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. That's not funny. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go and find an interesting story. Okay, so we need to find some exciting things to report on. Oh, oh! I found a story! This looks like an ordinary street, but a terrible event is happening. A cat has gotten stuck up a tree. How will this cat get down? Who will rescue it? And how long will the poor critter be there? Will the authorities come and help the cat and return it to... Obeyed? The cat's gone. What? Aww. I thought it was stuck. Even if it was stuck, it wasn't very exciting. Don't worry. We'll find another one. We just need to keep looking. Guys, get ready. I found our story. Ready! This car has broken down. Let's find what the problem is. Excuse me, sir, but what's wrong with your car? Huh? Nothing's wrong. I was just checking the oil. Cut. <sighs> Uh, yet another failure. Sheesh, who would have thought that finding an interesting story to report would be so difficult to do? We've got to keep looking. <gasps> huh? I think I found our story. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I am reporting to you from the park where a very rare bird has just been seen. 
I'm not sure exactly what kind of bird of prey it is. It looks like an eagle, but I've never seen one that big. This is amazing! This eagle is getting lower. It must be hunting its prey. <sighs> Obeyed, why aren't you filming? Huh? <laughs> Your big bird of prey was just your little sister's kite. I never thought finding a story would be so hard. We gotta think of something. Hmm. We could fake a bit of news. What do you mean? I mean... We could make up a story and pretend that it really happened. Like what? Um... We could report that there's a herd of giant dinosaurs wildly rampaging all throughout the park. How will we do that? Mm, We're uh, not gonna fake uh, any news. We just gotta find a really, really good story. Sure, but where will we find one? I don't know. I mean, it's not as if it's just going to fall out of the sky or anything, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess great stories do just fall out of the sky. Come on, let's follow it. This is cool. We're going to have the best footage of the class. <laughs> Have you come for a ride? Yes. We want to film the plane from a completely new angle. Well, you've come to the right place. Jump in. <laughs> We're in a helicopter! Woohoo! Awesome! <laughs> Yes, of course. That one ignites the boosters. That one starts the auto landing feature. And this one makes the helicopter invisible on the radar. What does that big red one do? Well, that's the ejector seat. So whatever you do, do not press it. So cool! An ejector seat! <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh... Obeyed! Seriously! So 
close! Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I think this is it! Uh. I'm Lindsay, feature initiated. You did it, Mansoor! Now let's find Obaid! There he is! Up there! Obaid! <laughs> How was the ride? <laughs> Is that still filming? Yeah. We're gonna have the best vlog ever! Hmm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll agree that Mansoor, Salem, and Obeyed made a very exciting report for their assignment. <laughs> and so, they all get an A+. Plus. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Please, boys, don't do anything so risky and dangerous again. <laughs> but let's watch it one more time, children. This week's experiment is all about energy efficiency. Your task is to suspend a member of your team in midair. That's easy. But without using an engine or a motor. Hmm, not so easy. Get into teams, and then you can start your experiments outside. Please help yourselves to anything that you think may help you obtain your scientific goal. We could take the string and wrap it around two chairs. And then, maybe have two of us sit on the chairs, and one of us lies on the string. I think that might work out, you guys. <laughs> well, that's huh? a good idea. Thanks for that. <laughs> hmm. Huh? That's not fair. Don't worry, Obeyed. None of this stuff is very useful. I've got some better things at home. What about these? Huh? Hmm. 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 Yeah, they could support someone, I suppose. We might as well try. Okay, Obeyed, get on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be suspending him, not sinking him. Help me! I can't get up! <laughs> <laughs> You may continue working on it at home, but you must show your findings to the class tomorrow. Come on, let's go back to my house. I've got my tools there, and we can get this work done properly. I'm sure of it. I'm going to pick Sarah up from a party. See you boys later. So how are we going to solve this science experiment thing? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Water! No thanks, I've got some juice. No, we could use water pressure to suspend you. How's that gonna support him? I've got a plan. Okay, this highly pressurized water squirter should do the trick. 
It's full of water and ready to go. Oh, it needs more pressure. Hold on, Obey. Oh, it's working. Okay, Obeid, we'll think of something. <gasps> We're hey back. Hmm. That's it! Whoa! Uh, I don't really think one balloon is going to hold me up. You're right. One won't do it, but lots of them will definitely do the job. <laughs> don't worry, Obeid. What could possibly go wrong? Calculating all the data, we know we need exactly 48 balloons to suspend Obeyed in midair. Hmm. How many balloons have you blown up, Obeyed? Nearly 200. What? Uh. Wait up! We only need 48 of them! Stay in the garage! What? What are we gonna do? We need to burst three quarters of those balloons. But how? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hmm. <gasps> Nano can fly up and burst them. Nano? But how? There's nothing sharp on him. Quickly, find something sharp. Oh! I think that'll do it.
Any of you have solved this scientific riddle. We'll start with T-Rex team. Lo and behold, watch the string support my weight. Nice try, Tarek. Mansoor. Has your team been successful? Ha! <laughs> This'll never work. What a joke. Through careful scientific research, we calculated exactly how many balloons were needed to suspend obeyed. Oh. And we also discovered that if you quadruple the number of balloons attached, it's possible to float really high, even higher than planes. <laughs> A funny joke, Obeyed. No, I'm not joking, sir. Huh? He's joking, right? No, he's not. Oh! <laughs> uh. Congratulations to Mansour's team for successfully solving the challenge. 